You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, I believe more and more, and we've talked about this over the last three or four days, you're going to see a real push for Angel Reese to be the WNBA Rookie of the Year. Did a video earlier. We've got an ESPN pundit that has jumped out there and said for the craziest reasons why she would give Angel Reese, or the craziest reason, she would give Angel Reese the Rookie of the Year. Now, I think most of us realize this is going to turn into some kind of an activist campaign. All right? Whether the activist media gets involved, ESPN. All right? I saw the... WNBA rookie power rankings from CBS a couple of days ago. Angel Reese was number one. And I'm like, what world are these people living in? We've talked about the deficiencies in her actual basketball game. Oh, but they're not mentioning these deficiencies. A lot of a lot of people. A lot of people are. I think Caitlin Clark is far and away the runaway uh, choice for rookie of the year. Oh, but the teammates are starting to talk, and they're starting to to really play this up for Angel Reese. Enter in one lesbian activist, Kennedy Carter. Now, you might be like, Kennedy Carter? Because, look, I'm not going to fault you if you don't recognize that name. Nobody would have ever heard of her, or anybody else in this league, uh, had it not been for... Uh, some of the things involving her like this. This is her giving the press conference after the brutal forearm shiver foul heard around the world earlier this year. Now, Kennedy Carter is dumb as a box of rocks. I'm just going to keep it real. Uh, and you can tell, keep in mind as she's going to run up in this video you're going to watch here from Colin Rugg. Keep in mind as she's running up to Caitlin Clark to viciously deck her uh she called her a bitch right before this of which angel reese celebrated by the way uh so just keeping that in mind of course that went mega viral that was a huge story 10 million people watched just this one video uh of, from this one x person on x so here we go right here Kennedy, on the play before bumping in with Caitlin, it seemed like she she turned to you a little bit um, yeah. after the after the fever score. I didn't score. know Caitlin Clark questions. Did she say anything to you? I don't know what she said. What did you say to her? I didn't say anything. That's enough. And that, of course, was Kennedy Carter saying, I ain't answering no Caitlin Clark questions. All right, after she viciously fouled her. Now, of course, this all leads us over to what happened. The foul heard round the world, part duh. Uh, during the Chicago Sky Indiana Fever game, where Angel Reese delivered the uh, uh, the clothesline from hell, we all seen this, of course, right there. Uh, an absolute brutal clothesline, uh, conked her on the side of the top of the head, and uh, you'll see it right here. Uh, there'll be a replay uh, coming up right there. Yeah, the ref sitting hitting the side of the damn head. Right there, and then boom, right? All right, so that leads us over to Kennedy Carter. Quote, Barbie's Rookie of the Year, there's no other way to put it. All right, and more and more, these people are going to get platforms, and they're going to be speaking up for Angel Reese to be Rookie of the Year. Let's listen to what this activist got to say. Her 12th consecutive double-double as a rookie. What can you say about her game and how she helped you tonight? Barbie's Rookie of the Year. There's no other way to put it. She goes out, she does her work every single night, no matter what team we're facing. She's Barbie's, I'm telling you, Barbie's Rookie of the Year for sure. All right. So, of course, she's going she's gonna to shield for her teammate, but we know why. We know why. Kennedy Carter exposes obvious Caitlin Clark tension with remarks on Angel Reese. She knows that when she makes these remarks, she is shading. Carter stated that the honors should undoubtedly go to her teammate while subtly shading Clark in the process. Of course. 
Of course. That is going to be the big agenda going forward. Many will remember the cheap, cheap shot that Clark laid on Clark earlier, that, that Carter laid on Clark earlier this season. That's the shot I just showed you. Reese went for 27 and 10. Lord knows how many of those were her own putbacks last night during this game. So, I mean, here we go, folks. Here we go. There's going to be a blatant shift. The blatant shift is taking place right now. Uh, it's July 6th. It's steamrolling towards the All-Star break, which is in about 10 days. And during that time, you're going to see more and more in the media come out and start pushing that, that WNBA Rookie of the Year narrative. Angel Reese should not sniff that award. Number one, one could certainly, we talked about this earlier, just in the fact that the Indiana Fever were a subpar team compared to the Chicago Sky to start the season. You know, the Fever got the first pick. Chicago, Angel Reese, for example, was the seventh pick. But the point is, uh, if you're going by wins and things of that nature, well, Caitlin Clark has elevated her team. They won 13 games last year. They've already won eight, and that was after the brutal stretch to start this WNBA season. So not only is Caitlin Clark going to have to overcome the activists in the league, especially the ones that are running the uh, the social justice trifecta, you know, black, woman, lesbian, the hat trick of wokeness, the, the Brittany Griner trifecta, not only is she going to have to get past that, she's going to have to get past the media which is going to take the ball from activists like Kennedy Carter, and they're going to run run with it, trying to push and elevate Angel Reese. You're seeing that. You're going to see it a lot, I have a feeling, from ESPN. Uh, as they, they come to grips, number one, they can't stand guys like me watching their sport. And supporting somebody like Caitlin Clark. So it's going to become how many boxes can we check? If we push Caitlin Clark, it subdues her. It upsets a certain section of sports fandom that we don't even want watching, even though it's going to lead to bigger paychecks. I mean, these people are not the sharpest tools in the shed. Understand that. You know, instead of doing a sit down, shut up, and cash paychecks that may be three times larger two years from now no we don't want you watching we're fine living off the nba okay uh that's well you're marxist so i i guess you could be fine spending other people's money yeah that computes i guess tell me what you think kennedy carter pushing for angel reese you know Activists flock together, right? Two peas in a pod. Well, they do all hit the streets, burning down buildings together now, don't they? Oh, I said that out loud. Dadgum it. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.